Hello everyone. I want to talk today about when the enemy seeps in. Are you always alert and know when the enemy is trying to seep into your life? I know that there have been times where I could recognize what he was trying to do and immediately I could give it to God. But there are times when I didn't even see him coming. Boom, all of a sudden there he was and he was trying to destroy me. We must equip ourselves with God's word. John 10, 10 says the enemy comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. 1 John 2, 15 and 16 says, Do not love this world, nor the things it offers. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and possessions. These are not from the Father, but from the world. Some people think that worldliness is only limited to external behavior. For example, the things that we do, the people that we associate with, um, the places we go. But truth is, um, worldliness is also internal because it begins within the heart. And it is also a char it characterized by three attitudes. The first attitude is the craving of physical pleasure. You can become preoccupied, whether it be from drugs, alcohol, food. Those are just a few, but there are so many other things that it could be as well. You know, the enemy tempted Eve in Genesis 3, 6, and that verse says, The woman was convinced. She saw that the tree was beautiful and its fruits looked delicious, and she wanted the wisdom it would give her. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband who was with her and ate it too. That fruit looked so good, Eve just had to taste it. Have you ever heard that looks can be deceiving? Well, they can. So many times we think things look good or, oh, wow, I can't wait. This is going to be so much fun. But it won't last because if it's of this world, it just will not last. Um, the second attitude is craving for everything that we see that we must keep up with our neighbors or we have to have the bigger and the better things. Satan tries to convince us that um, this will make us happy, but truth is it won't. These are just material things. Satan tempted Eve in Genesis 3, 6 by drawing her attention to what was pleasing to the eye. We must be very careful not to be drawn into the worldly things. Number three, the attitude of the attitude is pride in our achievements and possessions. Do you boast about what you do or what you have? Satan wants us to stay focused on ourselves and draw attention to ourselves. We think the world wants to hear all about what we have and what we do, but truth is Satan is trying to destroy us. The more we focus on ourselves, then we're not focusing on the Lord. Eve was tempted and the enemy lured her in, but not only her, but her husband as well. We must be careful to recognize what the enemy is trying to do to us. Warren Wisby says, God's people start thinking like the world. They start living like the world. Satan will do anything he can to get us to follow his evil path. We don't have to let Satan hold us down. Give it to God whatever that is, that has you weighted down. It's such a freeing peace that only God can give you when you let go of Satan's schemes and you completely give it to the Lord. How is your prayer life? How about being in God's Word? Is God first in your life or does He get the leftovers of the day, if, if that? I know that I had to really look at myself and question myself before about these things. I want to encourage you today to be alert and stay in God's Word and have that communication line open with God. Be equipped, be in His Word. When the enemy tries to seep in, you are, you are strapped up with the armor of God. Surround yourself with godly women who love the Lord and it's very evident in their life. Be with like-minded people. So I have a few more questions before I close today. And um, will your choice be to take the moment, take each moment and know that God's truth stands firm and let him fight our battles? 
or will you believe the lies of Satan? Does your actions reflect the world's values or God's values? I just want each of you to know that I am here for you. If you just need someone to pray with you, I would be glad to do that. Or if you just need someone to talk to, reach out to me. I would love to talk with you. And I know that that's Rachel's heart as well. She is available just like I am. And that's we just want to, you all to know that we are here for you. And before I go, I just want to pray for us. Father, I come to you, Lord. I just ask that, Lord, if there's anyone that is listening to this video, Father, that that has something that you just need to give to you, Father, I just pray that now that they will, Lord. Father, I pray that they recognize that the enemy is trying to destroy us. And, Lord, I just pray that they equipped with your word, Lord, and have that communication line open with you, Father, and truly know you, not just know you, but know you that you in their hearts, Father. Father, I just um, ask that if there, if there is not, if there is someone on here today that doesn't know you and have that personal relationship, Lord, I just pray they reach out to someone today. Father, thank you for each lady, Lord. I just pray that you watch over them all, Lord. And we just thank you for all that you do in our lives. And I just thank you in all these things I, I ask, Lord, in your precious and sweet holy name. Amen. Ladies, I pray that you have a blessed and wonderful weekend, and may God bless you. Bye.